CNC machines exist for decades, but there are still many workshops, schools or universities that don't own such a great machine even if they would like to get a hand on one. This one is meant for you. It is made from commonly available materials, mainly from steel tubes and flat iron bars. And only simple tools were used to build it, like a hacksaw, a drill press and a tapper. The axes are guided by ball bearings and 6mm threaded rods convert the rotational movement of the motors into linear movement. With the self-made plastics thread, you get a precise movement as demonstrated in the citizen science section of this year's Hackaday Prize. The motors with their rubber rolls are from old printers and the gear is made from a plywood disc. The sensor discs are cut from cardboard and coated with paint... ...and they are scanned by optical sensors that were also salvaged from the printers. An Arduino Uno and two double H bridges are needed to control the machine. So what can you hackers or artists do with such a simply built machine? Engrave glass... Cut plywood... Create circuit boards... ...or engrave and cut acrylic plastic. It's the low end configuration of this machine, the software is in a very early state and the template consists of nearly 20,000 line segments. Nonetheless, the machine processed the file slowly but precisely. Straight lines are indeed straight and the endpoints meet the crossing lines perfectly. The characters are just 3mm in height, can you read the text? You can also process aluminum with this low end configuration. The coolant is applied manually, this prototype is in an early state, the deadline of the Hackaday price came quickly. With a steady flow of liquid, all of the chipping would be removed resulting in smoother edges. So, you want such a CNC router too? Simply start to replicate this machine by yourself. The documentation around this CNC is more than CAD files and schematics. The aim of this project is to explain in detail how CNC machines work, which is why it all started with a manually operated CNC from cardboard and paper clips... ...that can also run autonomously with an Arduino, 3 servos and a battery pack. It was made with schools in mind. Same as the do-it-yourself printer that was made for my video about linear drives, people must understand the basics to get the best out of machines. Going in all the details of machining, electronics and software is time consuming, which is why up to now I could not test the machine with bipolar stepper motors and a stronger router motor. Same as for the drives, I will give you a wide variety of electronics to control the machine with a laptop, a mini PC or your smartphone. Students, designers or makers in 194 or more countries get a template for a machine that can improve the quality of their future projects and so make a change. With knowing the open heart and software as well as the theory behind, they can start to modify the machine. Here I have added a very simple lathe functionality. This demonstration of an additional feature is anything else than perfect, but keep in mind that this CNC router started with a handmade cardboard version. A residency in the supply frame design lab would help to improve the layout of this open source CNC router, its add-ons and of course the quality of future machines. Considering professional manufacturing techniques in the design will make it more easy for people all over this planet to make a personal copy or to start a small volume production locally. Making things easy for you means more work for me, so I will now go back to my workbench. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.